2023 was an insane year. And well, today we're gonna to be counting down the top 15 moments that happened in Pokemon Go this year. And let me just tell you right now, this was the hardest list I've ever made. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go, counting down number 15, which is gonna be catching a shiny Smeargle on top of Whistler. Look how beautiful that is. This was during the um, shiny Smeargle event at the start of the year. Oh my God, it's so nice. Look at that, shiny Smeargle in Pokemon Go. Probably the craziest spot I've ever caught a shiny. Easily top 15 moment right there. Okay, hopping into number 14, which is gonna be using Bidoof and winning a game at an official Pokemon Go regionals here. There is one Pokemon known as the God of Creation. It is the Big Bang, the debut of the Pokemon universe. And we all have it to thank for this franchise we love called Pokemon. Now, who is this mystery Pokemon you asked? Well, it's none other than Bidoof. I powered this power thing up, this to, up, level up to level 50, double, 50. double moved it, sure and entered in to Hartford Regionals with it. I did end up did losing that? a first couple but games here, and I even got a buy in round two. But then in round nice three, I went up against Ray Sora. <laughs> here we go. And yeah, this is the moment here. We have the Badoo for official Regionals. Badoo versus Sunfisk. And we went with the superpower. She shielded it. Badoo actually got a shield. Bro, this was insane. I can't believe I did this. And then finally, Stunfist swept the game for me. That's insane. This is probably the biggest meme moment of 2023 for me. That's number 14. Okay, number 13 here is going to be with Mystic 7 at New York City Go Fest. This is actually the first time I've ever met Mystic. We played all of Go Fest Day 1 together, and we ended up with a back-to-back -back shiny right in front of him. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, so we did the shiny glitch here, changing the shiny nose pass. It switched over into shiny unknown and with Mystic, but that's not the only thing that happened here. Two seconds later, back-to-back, -back, a shiny exclamation point unknown, which is super rare, bro. Mystic was so jealous of me here back to back shiny unknowns with mystic seven in new york that's number 13. Okay, number 12 is going to be when I was actually trained by the 2022 World PvP Champion, Dancing Raw. He took me through a rigorous one-week training program, and then at the end, I had to battle him and try to win. And I like to think of this as the start of my PvP arc in 2023. I lost two rounds to him, but then I actually ended up beating him in the final round. Let's check out that battle. So I had the knockdown lead into his Medicham here. He goes straight for the Ice Punch. Here, I actually remember... Remember, I should have thrown the Shadow Ball. I threw the Sky Attack, but it doesn't KO. We'll fast forward here to the end of the battle, though. I, he had the two shield Charizard, which I was super weak to. So he blast burns. But then I'm able to KO his Charizard with a Sky Attack. And then I go right back into my Umbreon, and I beat the World Champion. Obviously, like, I lost to him, like, 10 times before this, but beating the World Champion once was huge for me. And I think this really helped my PvP confidence. That's why it's number 12. Okay, number 11 is gonna be something near and dear to my heart, and that's gonna be when I went to a rural town outside of Ottawa to try to find Pokemon Go players to play with. This is me here in Spencerville, and I was here for three hours trying to find some players. Look at this, Spencerville. Look how small that is, man. I'm not the most social guy, so walking around and talking to all these people, asking them if they play Pokemon Go was kind of tough for me, so this was actually a big social moment for me as well. Coming to make a video, see if you can find anyone who plays Pokemon Go in this. Town. Do you know if there's anyone? Not that you know of. Have you guys ever heard of Pokemon Go? You've heard of it? Do you know if there's anyone around here who plays it? Over there? Have you guys heard of Pokemon Go? No? Okay, well, thank you anyway. I'm gonna keep looking. But at the end of the day, it was a beautiful day in the city. And after wandering and wandering for hours, we had this insane moment here which we're gonna play. Yes! Uh, we came here, we're trying to find someone to play Pokemon Go in like a small town in Spencerville. And we've been here for like the last two hours looking around and... You found us. I, we found you. <laughs> this was crazy, dude. I was so hyped when we found these local players. It was amazing. What an amazing moment. After spending like multiple hours trying to find a player. We ended up doing some raids with them, walking around their uh, little town here. And I even ended up giving them Pokemon Go Plus Pluses, which were new devices that had just dropped. What an amazing moment. And that is why it's number 11. 
Okay, number 10 is not gonna be a specific moment, but it's gonna be a couple different moments with my new friend, Casual Coops. If you guys know him, you know him, but Pokemon Go can create so many friendships and Casual Coops is one of those relationships that really blossomed this year with all the in-person events. So the number 10 spot goes to just having fun with Casual Coops. Let's check out some clips. Because I've got this 10 ton blooming camera. <laughs> Watching this video, how many times is Coops gonna complain about the weight of my camera? Coops, get to the gym. <laughs> okay, so I'm stuck with. <laughs> stuck with? Don't See, tell me what to do. That's how you talk to me, not nice, is it? <laughs> yeah, you're off my team. What you wanna. Huh? You're off my team. That's it, yeah? That's cool. Fine, no worries. We're going several ways. Okay? I'll go join Awesome Adam. That's who you are? Huh? You're gonna cheat on me with Awesome Adam? <laughs> no. Is that what you want? I would never! <laughs> Behind me, we have the River Thames. <laughs> Is that Prince uh, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> no, people say I'm Prince Harry, bro. <laughs> Not that. People say I am. Goldie, 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 Goldie. <laughs> I love you, casual, and that's why you're in the number 10 spot. Okay, moving on to the number nine spot, which is gonna be mega evolving my Shundo Sableye. Yes, I got a on Shundo Christmas Sableye morning, from Dan Ottawa Dan from a Lucky Christmas Trade last Christmas, like 2021 Sableye. or 2022. But I remember finally mega evolving my Shundo Sableye. Sableye is actually my favorite Pokemon, so I was so hyped when this mega came out here. And here I am for the first time mega evolving it. What an amazing moment this year. He I think the best Mega part Sableye of Mega Sableye is actually is this he? here. When Wait you when he it? comes in Wait as a buddy, it? look, oh, he's pushing his gem in. That's gem. so great. Nonetheless, I waited for this moment for so long and that's why it's in the number nine spot. Okay, now it's starting to get serious and we're moving into some insane moments, which in the number eight spot is going to be playing Pokemon Go for 24 hours straight. During so the Adventure Week this year, I took well. on the challenge from Pogo Milo to try to play for 24, for the next 24 hours, hours non-stop, which was non crazy. We ended up catching so many shiny Pokemon during this event. Shiny Pokemon I did not have. We even caught a Hundo Tyranitar, which was so random. And overall had an amazing haul. Probably my favorite part of this video was doing my daily adventure incense at night. This is actually a very enjoyable moment from this year because like playing Pokemon Go in the middle of the night like this, it's a good vibe. Overall was an insane grind. Check out the full video below if you want. It's a great video and that's why it's in the number eight spot. Okay, moving on to the number seven spot, which was a hard one to fit in, but I think it deserves the spot. And that's gonna be the release of Shiny Shadow Legendaries and Wish my first back. Shiny Shadow Legendary catch. Let's take a look. So this was actually live on stream. We were grinding with the local community. Shadow Mewtwo raids, here we go. Getting some Shadow Shards. I wasn't paying attention really because we had done so many raids here. And here we go. There it is, Shiny Shadow Mewtwo. A little bit of lag on the stream, but look at the CP. I thought it was a Shundo Purified. Everybody was hyped because I think I think this was my first one. What an insane moment. I thought it was a Shundo. Look, those are still insane. One IV point from being a purified Hundo. That was actually the only shiny Shadow Mewtwo I actually caught this year, and that's why it's in the number seven spot. Crazy moment. Okay, moving into the number six slot, which is going to be a video I worked on for multiple months, which was the transport battle, in which I battled Dan Ottawa and my mom, in which who can catch the best Pokemon in their method of transport, and I got a helicopter. This is probably one of the craziest moments ever, playing Pokemon Go in a helicopter. I never thought I would play Pokemon Go in the sky, but it was crazy. This video took so long, so much planning to do. The views were stellar as well, seeing Ottawa from above. I had never really seen Ottawa from this kind of view before. We ended up stopping over City Hall, which is like one of the best places to play in Ottawa as well. And here we go, spinning a stop from a helicopter. I even battled a Team Go Rocket grunt from in the helicopter, which is super cool. Overall, Pokemon Go in a helicopter is very similar. And then my my number one moment in the helicopter Sableye. was you this right here. I saved a Sableye in my stack tasks to catch while I was in the helicopter. You know I love Sableye. You know we had to do it. This is better than Marigold. I love you, Marigold, but this is a better Sableye. Oh my. Damn, damn, bro. I said this was better than Marigold. That's crazy. Oh, Finally, the worst fall. moment was when okay, I had yeah, one I'm Pokeball left to catch this Blaziken because I was getting speed capped. So I was waiting until and the helicopter was just go. about Blaziken, to land to try to catch it. I went for the throw and he oh, dodged it. Throw. And I choked. Oh, I didn't catch the Blaziken. Oh. Nonetheless, playing Pokemon Go in a helicopter was surreal and was definitely the number six moment of the year. 
You might be like, okay, what can top that? Pokemon going to helicopter? There's five things better than that. <laughs> well, bro, the year was crazy. So moving into our top five, we are going to have playing Pokemon Go on a new account for 11 hours and hitting level 40 in 11 hours. It was the new Paldea event, I believe, and had the bonus of four times cash XP. And this is something I had been wanting to do for a while. We grinded so hard. We hit so many excellent throws. Guys. The first 30 levels happened in the first like two hours. It was insane. Guys, Nonetheless, our grind then translated over to the car where we grinded with Poseidon and Fixer Slayer, which were huge essential players to help us in many of our grinds this year. As you can see here, grinding so many excellent throws. <laughs> I wasn't even on a team yet. I hadn't chosen a team and we were level 39. That's crazy. We were literally on Team Harmony. And then finally, 11 hours later, level 40 in, hold up. What's our timer at? Let's pause it. 11 hours and seven minutes. Absolute insanity. Easily one of the hardest grinds I've ever done in Pokemon Go, and that's why it's in the number five slot. Okay, moving in to the number four slot, and that's going to be getting catch banned in Pokemon Go. Did you know you could get banned in Pokemon Go for simply catching too many Pokemon? Why? Now, if you don't know, if you actually catch 4,800 Pokemon in under 24 hours, you can no longer catch Pokemon. And this was a challenge I wanted to do for a while. Again, we were joined by Poseidon and Fixer Slayer here, and I just spammed my catches. That's all I was doing. I caught so many shinies as well during this day. We caught a shiny XL Punkaboo. We caught a bunch of shiny Sableyes because it was featured during the event. We got the new shiny Pikachu. We got a shiny Murkrow. Overall, I caught so many, so many Pokemon. But then I believe after like 16 hours, we did hit the catch point. As you can see here, Poseidon showing it. After catching so many Pokemon, what happens? It always runs like that. Insane. 4,800 catches later. Oh my God. 1 million Stardust in a day. That's crazy. Almost 2 million next to be 30 kilometers. I was, that's from driving. I take it back. That was probably the hardest grind I had done on all year. I would say that was more okay, energy exhausting than the 24 hour grind, shower. just because the seven, amount of focus I needed to make sure to be catching so many more Pokemon. I actually caught more Pokemon during that grind than I did during the 24 hour grind, which says how focused I was. That's easily the number four slot. Okay, getting into our top three moments of 2023. And this one is gonna be near and dear to my heart because this was a huge moment for me on the, here on the channel. I had never really had the opportunity to interact with my community, my fan base, since this channel was grown during COVID. So finally in uh, June, I believe of 2023, we hosted our first in-person event. Yes, at Andrew Hayden Park in Ottawa, I teamed up with Catzer Creations and Captain Steel, where we did an in-person Pokemon Go obstacle course. People could go ahead and test their throwing skills, as you can see here. Bang, nice throw. Also, your snapshotting skills, your item bag organization skills, your catching Pokemon skills. And finally, you can go ahead and spin the real life-size Pokestop, which was so sick, bro. That was yeah, so cool. Dan you mean, you Ottawa even seconds. showed up trying um, to, to beat my, my time, which he ended up doing pretty <laughs> swimmingly. Dan Ottawa always beats me. 2024 is the year I beat Dan Ottawa. Overall, this was an amazing event. We had event. so many That's cool Pokemon show up. Shout out if you were there. It was super cool to finally meet a lot of the community in person, brought. and I hope to do more in 2024. If you want to see some, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, getting into the top two, which if you've been watching the channel for the whole year, we had some insane moments and you might remember two of them are not mentioned yet. And so I have to put in the number two slot, easily getting our Shundo Lechonk off an auto catcher in the wild. Yes, if you no, don't know, catching real, a Shundo in the wild is, is a one in one like two million two. odds. And when I was doing the level 40 bus, grind, we talked about hitting level 40 in 11 hours, my auto catcher actually ended up like snagging really a Shundo Lechonk. Let's check out the moment. Oh, actually, never mind. We got a shiny LeChonk. What? A Shundo LeChonk? No, this was caught on the auto catcher? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? That was insane. I, I didn't believe it. I actually didn't believe this moment. So it easily takes the number two spot. I don't know if there'll ever be a moment in my career in terms of catching that will top that. That was crazy. Definitely one of the best moments. And finally, that moves us into the number one spot, the best 
moment of 2023. And the reason I'm putting it in the number one slot is because I really feel like I worked for this moment. I really feel like I put in the effort and deserve this moment. And this wasn't just a moment that came with luck. It came with dedication. It came with training. That's gonna be this moment here. Let's check it out. Okay, so you might think this is just a regular old PVP battle, but it is nothing but regular. Check out our ELO there, 2,966. So we lead into a Talon Flame here, which I knew my backline, this thing could not see the Sand Slash. This battle, remembering it now, I remember how lucky I was to get alignment here. So I go ahead and I they go right to the Flame Charge. This is before Talon Flame got buffed. So they go for the flame charge right away. It's a great bird call here. I go ahead and throw two and then I go for the okay. psychic. I knew Medicham so could do decent against threw. this Pokemon here. I just needed away. to make sure I at least tried to uh, get it low here. So they go for a flame charge and this is a big moment. This shield is huge for me and this ends up setting up the rest of the game. I go ahead and throw it a little bit suboptimal timing there, but I wanted to make sure I got this psychic off and this is huge. They let that through, which is game changing because they come in with so Medicham. Big. Two That's of their so Pokemon beat my Sand Slash which was huge Four, because now I could five, align my Gligar six. into this Medicham and most oh likely God. they were going to be weak in the back call, to Sand Slash. So I go ahead and let the Ice Punch through because I know I can take one. I go ahead and do perfect counting here to throw a little bit before their Ice Punch. And pretty much I'm hoping here that they're weak to Sand Slash in the back and they're not Grass triple the good against it. So they go ahead and shield that. I'm going to match shields Maybe here because obviously four. if I don't, I just lose. Okay, they go for the Ice Punch, which I can go ahead and shield. And then now the scary part is I don't want them to go ahead and get an ice punch off. So what I do here is I make sure I throw this aerial ace the and then I'm counting because I know they're gonna throw the ice punch as soon as they get it. They get the ice punch. Huge. You might think this is bad because slash takes super ice, effective from ice in the back. Um, counter, in the back. Ice but in the I can back. go ahead and ice eat this ice punch because it's double resisted. It ice does in the back. no damage. They get no counter through. Grass, please. And they go ahead and Let's quit go. because they probably had a grass type in the back. Okay, and this okay, moment four was one, huge four for me. One, the nerves four were one. on because this was <laughs> six months in the Please, making bro, to hit devastated. legend. I had already I tried last devastated. season and just failed short. Yeah. So now you after going here. and playing for six months straight, I was so proud ah. of this moment. There it is, legend. I was. This is true happiness. This is what dedication <laughs> gives you. I was so hyped. Let's Chat was go. there with me as well. We if you were the there for that moment, let me know. But that was easily the number one moment of 2023. Guys, thank you guys so much for supporting this year. I appreciate you all. And hopefully you guys are excited for an amazing 2024. Enjoy the rest of the year. And we'll see y'all in 2024. Both more dips. Peace. <laughs>